Okay, so we are done with couple of uh, you know couple of CDS views. Let's do a few more couple of CDS views, which will give us more clarity on uh, other uh, you know possibilities that we have here. So here we are going to go for CDS underscore. Uh, I'm going to go go and uh, use a table called MA uh, MA Mara. I have already used MA RA. VBAK. This is a sales order header data. Sales order header data. Now we'll go ahead with this. So in this, what are we going to do is we are going to give the parameters and uh, we're going to give a uh, link greater than and lesser than symbol. So we'll have this uh, two, two parameters. We're going to select two parameters here. So I'll go with a defined view with parameter. We can also manually write it, but I just like to generate it right now. And once it's generated, I'll go for this parameter name as something like, uh, this is for VBAK. I'll go for uh, VBLN. And the associated uh, data type, data type is uh, VBLN underscore VA. And then select from VBAK. Then I'll go for, and now here what we'll do is we'll go for uh, L underscore VBLN. This is a lower limit. And here we H underscore VBLN colon VBLN underscore V. Okay, so this is what we have to write. This is how I'm like we have a higher value, a low, lower limit, and higher limit. Okay, and here what we'll do is we'll go ahead with the field names, and the field names would be some from VBAK only. So we can write either VBAK dot VBLN. Okay, uh, otherwise we can just simply write VBLN because. Uh, it's a single table doesn't mean doesn't matter if you write the table name or doesn't don't do not write the table name it does not throw any error it's okay go for z b underscore v sales sale 9 Now here, where, where VBLN should be greater than L underscore VBLN. VBLN less than, okay, this should be, sorry, dollar parameters. Dollar parameters dot L underscore VBLN. Here, it should be like that. And dollar parameters dot H underscore VBLN. That's it. So this is the condition. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to use the main same parameters option and create it like a select options where you are giving the lower limit and upper limit. Okay. So we'll just do the syntax check. Activate. Excuse and here we'll have this lower limit as thousand. Maybe we don't have the data. I just need to see for what records we have the data. Let me just do that.
actually we need to also have the leading zeros uh, in this case we need to also have the leading zeros i think because of that it's not coming so if it, it doesn't work now i'll just go ahead and uh, add the leading zeros as well okay let me once uh, add the leading zeros with taking the data Because if it was uh, um, normal select options, it would start by default take the values, uh, leading zeros. Let me see for what records, for what data we have the uh, values, BDAK. One eight three one six. The data from one eight three one six. So in this case, because I was not giving the leading zeros, it was not coming. So I'll just go ahead and access with leading zeros. I'll just uh, add those leading zeros here. And with leading zeros and making the entire total length should be 10. I'm just adding it up and uh, we will be getting the data accordingly. So now here we have the data for uh, all those values. Uh, so we need to have the leading zeros to get the values.